Hey everyone, Chris Madsen here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a design table to control configuration color. Let's do it. I'm gonna be demonstrating this using the 321 blocks that we already created in a design table. If you wanna see the original creation of that block, check out this other video. Okay, time for us to um, open up our design table. In that design table, I'm gonna open it up in another window. I could open it up directly in SolidWorks or I could open up Excel. And I'm gonna open it up in Excel. Here are all of the things we did to manage um, the suppression of features. I'm gonna mostly just take all these and hide them. We don't need them right now. In fact, I guess I should say that the uh, all of the parameters and everything else that was used to create these parts uh, they're in here with all the parameter handles and the parameter values, plus all of the things we've done in the previous videos to suppress features. Um, what I want to do now is to take all of these columns, because they don't matter so much to this video, and I'm just going to hide them so we don't have to look at them. And that is going to allow us to work on the next thing that we're going to work on, which is to handle the color. All right, so if I'm going to handle the color, I know that I'm going to specify the color via RGB color numbers. So I'm gonna put in here three codes. These are going to be the red color. Red color, whoops. Color. And this is going to be my green color. And this is going to be my blue color. Whoops. All right. Now I know that these numbers are numbers that exist between one and 255. Actually, I think zero can also be a number. So let's just pop that in there. Okay, and 255. Maybe I'll pop 255 on all these. Okay, um, anytime the RGB colors are the same color, you get a gray. So actually that's what I wanna do with my default version. It's just say 200, 200, and 200. And then in order to see if this is working, I gotta have a whole bunch of different RGB colors. So let me just do that real fast so that it's easy for us to see if this is working. Okay, so now I have some random colors in there uh, and this will you know, allow us to see how we're doing. All right, so the code that we wanna use in order to specify color in SolidWorks is dollar sign color. All right, dollar sign color. And the code that SolidWorks will read is a combination of the RGB colors. So go into the guidebook or look it up on the internet. Go to the guidebook, get the um, equation that's stated right there. Let's copy it. Go back into SolidWorks. Okay, so did I mess up my design table? I don't know. Is that my design? Okay, there's my design table. And what I want to do now is come into this spot right up here and paste it. All right, so this doesn't look like the equation that we had, but if I pull this thing down over here, where is that? If I just pull this thing down, I can see the whole equation that I copied. And I wanna clean that up now. Pay close attention to what I'm about to do in a second here so that you don't get messed up, okay? And that is Okay, where's that? There it is. Um, this little minus sign is not a minus sign. That was uh, the copy paste function dealing with another line. So I'm gonna delete that. Okay, now a couple things going on here. These, uh, this doesn't exist yet. Okay, so this thing right here, red color number needs to be this red color number, this right here. The green color number needs to be this green color number. The blue color number needs to be, oops, the blue color number needs to be this one that's right here. All right, if I hit return on this, it's it's uh, going to give me then the color code. And what I can do is just copy that all the way down. And we can see all the different color codes for our configurations. Now, hop out of this thing and we're gonna see one, uh, particular problem that I want to point out that doesn't seem to actually be a problem on this part that I'm looking at. Okay, let's see if this one's a different color. Oops. 
Okay, these are all appearing now to be the same color, which is not what we wanted, but there's a reason for that. And there's a reason for that, and that is that we have not linked our display states to the configurations. So the way that we do that is we come down here to the bottom, we right click on this, we go to properties, and we say link display states to configurations. And we jump out of that. And I think I need to go back into my design table so it'll read it one more time, which I'll do right now. Going into the design table, reading, 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 jumping out of my design table, and I should now have a, a color control, which I do have. These are all my random colors that we chose. Let's see which colors I chose. There's a lot of purples in there, I guess. Purple, more purples, greens, greens, purples, other purples, browns, and that, my friends, is how you control color in a design table. That's it. See you in the next video.